Hi everyone, this is Rob. I just wanted to give you my uh, take on Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, um, after the last review, we kind of fast-tracked that one. Needed a couple days to just kind of regroup ourselves. Don't worry, we'll be announcing the winner of the uh, $50 gift certificate really soon. Uh, probably that's the next thing I'm going to do right now. Um, but really quick, uh, talk about the Deathly Hallows Part 2. A lot of action, a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, the effects were very good. Um, I felt there was a lot of, you know, very gripping emotional parts. Uh, some key characters died, you know, some 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 familiar faces, and uh, some other characters stepped up in a lot of places. You know, Longbottom did his thing, uh, taking the sword out and you know using it for the better. Um, I feel like everybody got their moment to shine. I feel like everything tied up the way it was supposed to. Um, and if you remember the review, I really, I truly didn't like the first two. So to to kind of come to this one, uh, really felt like a culmination of things over you know the past decade or so. And I'm happy it worked out the way it did. Uh, I'm happy. I don't feel like anything was too trite or too trivial. Um, I think uh, David Yates did a great job. Uh, steady cam, man. You know, handhelds just they're the, they're the way to go. They're the way to bring grit to a to a movie. And uh, at certain points, you needed that. And he definitely brought it. You know, he felt like, or you, you know, just sitting there, you felt like there was a lot of death and destruction. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. So uh, I don't know. I just I felt like it was really well done. Really enjoyed it. Um, giving this one a 9 out of 10. I feel like the series as a whole, you know, I mean, it stuck the landing. It did. Um, the series didn't have a good start for me. And like I said before, I didn't grow up with these movies. So going back and watching them again, like, it, it's kind of like a contrived feeling to, to sit here and say, like, you know, the series is great, the series is amazing. Like, a lot of people enjoy it. But, I mean, from start to finish, I really didn't start enjoying them until about the third one, and then from there, it, you know, I, it, I wasn't enjoying the ride so much as I was enjoying the improvement, and then ultimately the, the big payoff at the end, and I think the ending, you know, the last movie I just saw today uh, was a great ending, great way to, to finish everything off, Deathly Hallows Part 1, see the review for that, you know, just stupid. Anyway, um, all together, you know, I'd give this series an 8, it's good, I mean, you know, depending on what mindset you're in, what mind frame, it's a good series. Is it great? No. <laughs> you know, I could live without it. You know, if I weren't doing this, and somebody was like, you never saw Harry Potter? I'd be like, yeah, I didn't. And I'm okay with that. So, I don't know. Take it or leave it. You know, for you potheads out there, I hope this was the ending you were looking for. Uh, definitely worked for me. So, there you go. Um, more to come. We'll have the the winner shortly. I'm gonna make another quick video and, and kind of put that out there again, guys. You know, really sorry, um, but after that last shoot, just took the energy out of you. You know, needed to get away, needed to go to the beach. Some of you noticed I have a little bit of a tan. Um, you know, went to uh, went to the shore, got a little sun on me, which is nice, and just got away from it for a few days. So uh, again, sorry for the delay. Uh, we'll be getting back on track very soon, um, and uh, Patrick's. Uh, reaction to all of this as well. Okay? So, see you YouTube.